guys, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, we are making Mississippi pot roast in my slow cooker. So we do have a couple of different chuck roast recipes on our channel that I will leave links in the description to below. Those other ones are just meat, salt, and water. So it's perfect if you are on a pure carnivore diet for elimination purposes or just doing pure carnivore without any other seasonings or um, aromatics or ingredients. But this recipe here is a looser carnivore slash ketovore, which is still meat based, but it does feature a jar of pepperoncini peppers. So the traditional Mississippi pot roast recipe does use ranch dressing as well as gravy mix that goes right into the uh, slow cooker. I did substitute these two ingredients today to make it a little bit healthier. So instead of the dried ranch seasoning, I am using the Chosen Foods ranch dressing vinaigrette which I think is a great substitute. Chosen Foods is known for their avocado oil and all of their dressings are made with an avocado oil base. So I do recommend checking them out for clean dressings and clean condiments. And then in addition to that, I did use a little bit of uh, onion and garlic, which are optional. A lot of the oju gravy like packet mixtures that you get at the store do have some sort of like usually garlic or oniony flavors to them. The gravy packs do have thickener in them usually. So instead of thickening agents, I am just using beef broth as well as some additional seasonings, onions and garlic as aromatics. And if you want, you can use xanthan gum as a thickening agent, but I am not doing that in this recipe today. This is a family friendly carnivore style recipe. So if your family members are not doing carnivore, then obviously you can still make and prepare whatever sides you want for them. And then for you yourself, you would just focus on the meat. I like this recipe because the ranch dressing really provides a tanginess as well as the juice from the pepperoncinis, which are not spicy. They are very mild, so it's good if you don't enjoy like very spicy food. I don't like spicy food myself and I don't find this to be spicy at all, so that's really good. It's more like tangy and it just provides some nice balance to the beef. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and let's get right into cooking. If you're enjoying this video today and you are on the carnivore diet for weight loss, I do have some free resources for you available down in the description below. So do check those out if you are interested. For the full recipe instructions, please do visit our blog at www.justrealfood.com where we will leave detailed instructions. I did sear the beef on the stovetop with some tallow just to get a nice brown color, which I find helps elevate the flavor, especially if you're putting it in the slow cooker. And then after that, everything is basically dump and go. I threw everything into the pot. I turned this on at 7.30 this morning and right now it's almost four o'clock. It's a two and a half pound uh, chuck roast and it's ready to serve. 
Again, if you're looking for a pure carnivore version of chuck roast, just meat, salt, and water, I will leave some cards up top, as well as some other related recipes down in the description below, one of which we use the slow cooker and another where Kevin uses the Dutch oven. So do check those out. So it's ready and my kitchen smells amazing. Let's see what's underneath this lid. Already, just transferring this onto my dish here. Oh, gonna try to get some of these peppers and onions out. Already, time for a taste test. It smells really, really good. The flavors of the ranch dressing just give it like this tanginess that's, whew, so zesty, you know that flavor of ranch sauce? Ready to dig right in. Mmm, that's really, really good. Mmm, so delicious. Super, super tender. I love making chuck roast in the slow cooker. I have tried chuck roast in the Instant Pot before, but I find that the slow cooker just does a much better job. There's just something about that duration of time that can't be replaced with an Instant Pot sometimes. Um, I love that it's dump and go. Basically, you can throw everything in there. It only takes about 10 or 15 minutes to prep all the ingredients, dump everything in there, and then dinner is served. I just love how the pepperoncinis, the onion, the garlic, just kind of elevate it. Uh, we do sometimes eat this with just salt, which is Kevin's specialty. We've also done it the Dutch oven style, so both styles are really good for getting it really tender in terms of a cooking method, but I like the additional uh, flavor and ingredients that this one adds. I've never really been like a spicy pepper type of person, but I find that the juice from the pepperoncinis just give it that like kick, that little bit of kick. It's not spicy, it's tangy in combination with the ranch dressing that make it really, really tasty. So this one is really good. And then that added butter just adds that little bit of kick to make the sauce really rich. If you add a little bit of the sauce back on, it's a bit of like an au jus sauce. Um, with beef stock and the flavors from the natural meat. So this one's definitely a must try if you like chuck roast and um, if you like the flavors of pepperoncini and ranch and uh, gravy. If you liked my video today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite way of making chuck roast is. Until next time.